Hey, hey, Tony Gaskins here. Now listen to me. There's one thing we gotta realize. As people, in order to advance, in order to grow, in order to go to that next level, you got to know when you were a victim and when you were a willing participant. And when somebody says, or when you identify that you were a willing participant, everything stops right there. Shut up. Stop talking. Start working. Ain't nothing else need to be said. If you were not lied to, if you were not duped, tricked and played, everything you got is everything you deserved. It's everything you needed in order to get the lesson to grow. And that's what we have to realize. I am not a victim. I am a victor over defeat. I am a victor over my stupidity, over my ignorance, my insecurity, but I am not a victim. That's what has to be understood. And a lot of times we don't want to understand that. A lot of times we don't want to believe that. We don't want to hear that. And that's what has to be heard. That is what has to be heard. Because, see, here's the thing. When we go into victimhood and we want to do a parade as a victim, even if we call ourselves a willing participant, but we got victim energy victim attitude and we doing victim things then we remain held captive to what we suffer from we remain stuck and see the thing about it is when you are a victor but you acting like a victim and even if you call yourself a willing participant what happens is people will clap you up for acting like a victim and it'll, it'll actually make you feel like, and you'll shift to think like a victim. See, it's things that could be shared. It's things that could be taught on from our experiences. We could teach from our experiences. We could admit our flaws, admit our shortcomings. We could do all that. But we got to really know and we got to really identify the role that we play. See, sometimes we, we need to be warning people about us instead of warning people about somebody else. We need to be warning, warning people about who we are and what we do, what we've done instead of warning people about other people. See, a lot of times we fail to realize that we are what we attract, meaning what we settle down with, we are that. So what is the difference between the person that we settle down with and us if we completely aware we an adult ain't nobody put nothing to our head and made us do nothing see this way we got to start growing and realizing and this way we got to stop giving so much power to other humans Covert narcissist.
narcissist that manipulated me. In order to grow, you got to get to the root of that and say, and be able to say what you wanted, what you did, what you tried to do, and it ain't work out for you. You met your match and you played yourself and you thought that you was going to play them, but you end up playing yourself and you took a L, point blank period. Remove all the labels. Remove all the labels of this person is a narcissist. This is they this kind of narcissist. They that kind of narcissist. That that because what that does is that shifts responsibility. It shifts the blame, and it removes responsibility from yourself because then you look at yourself like a victim, like they came in like a a witch, a Houdini, and did a little spell. And you had all this, all of this strength and all of this wisdom and all of this integrity. And then they hit that look, uh, put that spell on you. And then your eyes went to spinning like in the movie Aladdin with the little snake come up. Your eyes went to spinning. And then you were bewildered and befuddled. And then you fell into their trap and you were just an innocent victim who all your integrity and all your wisdom was just sucked out of you because they just had this little huh nope tell the truth tell the truth you was insecure you was ignorant you was rebellious against what you knew from god what you knew from your mama and you got what you set yourself up for. Point blank period. Regardless of who you were dealing with, regardless of what they was, what was I? What was I? Point blank period. And that's what we got to get to because see a lot of times what happened is we, we sit in this place and was like, oh, well they were this and they were this and they were this. What was Who was I to tolerate it? Who was I to even be with it in the first place? Who was I to be attracted to that in the first place? I knew it out the gate. I knew out the gate what it was. I knew from the jump. So if you knew from the jump, you come into a situation, you meet somebody, and you and this somebody, y'all go to sleeping together, and then you find out that the person you sleeping with is sleeping with other people. And instead of you removing yourself from the situation, you continue to sleep with this person. And then y'all mess around and get pregnant. Now you get pregnant and now when you done been pregnant with other people before and to bail yourself out now with this person that you know ain't no good that you know sleeping around now you want to trap them now you want to trap them and say oh well i done bailed myself out before i know god is a forgiving god i know i'm not gonna get struck with lightning i know i'm not finna just get laid down on my deathbed because that ain't how God work. Because if that's how God work, everybody be getting struck with lighting every other day. So now let's be real. Now you want to keep this here baby because you want to keep this here baby. Because this is one up on this person that is a dog, is a cheetah, is sleeping around. This is the one way Maybe this to get this person to slow down. Maybe this to get this person to choose me. Maybe this to get this person to be with me. Boom. Gotcha. Because who am I now? And you got to ask yourself, who am I if I'm 
passing people on the staircase that my partner is sleeping with, why am I sleeping with this person unprotected? If I know this person is sleeping with other people, why am I sleeping with this person? Un See, this is what we've got to realize. This ain't victim spirits. A lot of times we think, oh, I'm a victim spirit. <laughs> I was deceived. Oh, that was a, oh, that was a narcissist. No. Spiritual alignment. One type of spirit attracted to another type of spirit and them spirits feed off each other. And one just stronger than the other. But let me tell you, what that do let us know is ain't no Holy Spirit. Every spirit but the Holy Spirit is in that concoction. Because when the Holy Spirit in you, for one, you not finna be in no fornication. Two, if you fall into fornication, you then falling on your face in repentance. Then, if you in fornication, you not finna be sharing and concocting and collaborating and corroborating in fornication you finna say whoa now nah, i'm doing enough fornicating myself i'm not finna be fornicating with somebody who fornicating with other people too and now we got this petri dish of bacteria being passed around and then i'm in here unprotected so who's to say the other person's people ain't in here unprotected so now we all finna be burnt on earth and then if the Lord come back today, we finna be burnt in hell. So what am I doing again? Now, now where am I a victim again? Okay. Okay. So what's finna be the title of my book? Willing Participant. That's finna be the title of my book. Willing Participant. And what I'm finna teach on I ain't finna say nothing about what this person over here did. I ain't finna talk about nothing that they did. I'm finna talk about what I did. I'm finna talk about what I did because I was not duped. I was not lied to. I was not manipulated. I seen what was going on and I chose to be there and I chose to stay. Willing participant. Now I'm finna go and I'm finna break down and talk about the mindset of a willing participant the makeup of a willing participant the genesis the life story the build up of a willing participant this is what I'm finna talk on now this is what I'm finna talk on I gotta break this here down willing participant but see this is the thing when it's like spirits, sometimes the same lust of one spirit is the same lust of the other spirit. So sometimes the, the lust of the spirit that wants to be seen and clapped up as a victim, that wants to have people rally behind them, is a spirit that won't feign. A spirit that won't feign is a spirit that won't sympathy. It's a spirit that want the other spirit to suffer, to pay a price. Because the spirit feel like it lost in this spiritual warfare. And that right there ain't fair. Because you both, we both operating from a spirit. We both had our hooks in each other. We both did dirt. We both did what we weren't supposed to do. We both was manipulating. We both was playing our game. We both played the game with the way that we could play the game. One person could use their body in this way. Another person could use their body in this way. So if the man... If I could use my body by sleeping around, but then the woman could use her body by playing on my playing on my greed, playing on my selfishness, my ignorance, sleeping unprotected, 
putting her body at risk, but then she could get pregnant and she could choose to keep the baby. I don't have no pro I don't have no power over that. So now where I thought I had power as a willing participant from the male perspective, where I thought I had power, I'm rendered powerless because now if I took my own power away by not by being in fornication, being unprotected, and then boom, she get pregnant. Now she got all the power because I can't force her to go do nothing with her body. And so now I got a decision to make. Do I want to do the right thing and be a father, accept responsibility for what I did, or do I want to be trash and walk on off on my responsibility when ain't nobody put nothing to my head to make me lay down with this woman? You see what I'm saying? So see, both parties could play. Both parties could manipulate. Both parties could use what they use because if if the woman done already been to the doctor before, then why is it that the woman could say, oh, well, on you, I'm finna decide not to go to the doctor. On you. Even though I know you trash. Even though I know you doing this and that. See, the man can't question that because that's her body. It's her choice. So if she want to turn over a new leaf and she want to do the right thing, then that's her choice. As a man, I got to admit, oh, I'm a willing participant. This is what I deserve for sleeping with a woman and for sleeping with a woman unprotected. As the woman, she got to admit, I'm a willing participant. This is what I deserve. If he walk off, I knew he was trash before he put it in me. That's what the woman got to say. I knew he was trash. I knew he was, was a no good man. So I can't be mad at him if he don't want to pay child support. You can't be mad at him if he don't want to take care of that because you made a choice as a willing participant to sleep with trash. See, as adults, we have to stop playing the victim. And we got to look at the role that we play in the situation and we have to accept responsibility. We got to stop doing sympathy tours and we got to sit down and shut up and do the work to learn, to heal, and to grow. We don't need nobody to feel sorry for us for what we did. You'll see in my story, people gonna tell you about me what I told them. Tony was a gigolo, a reformed gigolo. How do you know? Cause I told you my story and that ain't even what it was called. I'm a reformed man. I wasn't doing nothing no other man wasn't doing. <laughs> we were doing the same thing. I slept with a third of the amount of women my homeboy slept with. So what was I again? A reformed gigolo. Just because I say I was sleeping around, I wasn't an anomaly. That's what every athlete on my level was doing. What you be? What you be? But see, we won't recognize that. We'll use somebody's story against them. See, when you a willing participant and you accept responsibility, that's when you accept your power. Don't ever be a victim when you know you was a willing participant. Because it's enough victims for victimhood who really had no choice in what happened to them. And that's their space that they get to own and speak on and express how they are overcoming and growing from that, from going through something that they had no choice in, from going through something that they were powerless in. Leave that space for those individuals. And if that's not you, then get out that space. Get out that space. Hey, this Tony Gaston. It's time to go to the next level. Y'all got to forgive me. I'm coming over here to pick up breakfast. My wife done ordered.
Finna eat it here bro. I'm trying to go to the Cuban Sandwich Festival. Man, look here. Love my old Cuban Sandwich. Hey, God bless you. If you going to Bali, see you on uh, June 2nd. Yeah, go with the flow. Have you some fun out there. Get to meet y'all. London, if you're in London, we're doing a full day. I'm doing a full day training in London. June 11th. Lord willing, my flight don't get delayed, boy. <laughs> June 11th, doing a full day training in London. And it's $547 USD. Lunch is included. Taking care of your lunch out of that, whatever you want to eat. I'm gonna order from the local restaurants. Half of the day will be love, and half of the day will be life and business. Life, love, and business. Q and A, small group. I made the price like that intentionally. People, are, oh, that's too much. That's too much. It was, you know, some young ladies wrote in thought they was about to get in free no i don't do nothing free i don't do i don't do free because i have to guard my spirit i don't know what kind of spirits is out there so if a spirit is willing to spend that kind of money then you come in and and with the wrong intentions then then you deserve to get slayed when you get slayed Cause I ain't losing no L's in spiritual warfare. Jezebel spirits. But see, when you put a price on it, you weed out Jezebel spirits. You weed them out. You weed out broke-minded spirits. You weed out begging spirits. You weed out all of that. You weed out spirits that ain't ready to grow. That ain't ready to change. That ain't ready to do what they need to do. So you got to realize, hey, if, if I'm not there... Don't let me, don't, I heard a pastor say, it ain't too expensive, you just can't afford it. I heard a pastor say that, and that thing changed my life. And this way, and don't, right now you're getting offended. Don't get offended. Get inspired. Because when something is out of your budget, it's out of your reach, that ought to inspire us to say, let me figure this thing out. Let me figure this out as an adult. So that when something comes up, that another adult can do I need to be able to do it too Because they're not better than me They're not smarter than me They're not more worthy than me So let me figure this out What do I need to do To get my stuff together So that when something come up I'm able to say you know what Oh that ain't, oh, that ain't nothing That ain't nothing to a boss I need to be able to say Oh that ain't nothing to no boss They could do that I could do that they got it, I got it. That's the mentality. So I want y'all to understand, when you're on here with me, when you're on here with me, I ain't got no pacifiers for you. I ain't got no pacifiers for you when you're on here with me. All I got is a hardcore truth. And that's it. You hear me? So don't come on here with no crying and no complaining. I ain't got it for you. I ain't got nothing but truth for you. Hey, God bless you. And we'll talk soon.